Welcome to Kairi TV News. I am your presenter, Tonella Rivier. Here are the top stories making the headlines. The Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court new lawyer opens on Tuesday. A series of activities scheduled for Drug Abuse Prevention Month this month and Champagne Reef Divers emerge victorious from the Nature Island T10 tournament. We will be back with more details of these stories and more after the break. Are you looking for that perfect setup for your conference, seminar, or company function? Or maybe you need a low-budget setup for your party, dinner, or private gathering. How about that professional production for your grand concert, festival, or outdoor event? Kyrie Sounds is here to provide you with everything you need. PA system, stage, lighting, microphones, tents, LED digital screens, generators, projectors, crowd barriers, and more. We also offer free events event consultation to ensure the success of your special event. Call us today at 612-4050. Kyrie Sounds, your partner in sound, stage and lighting services. Thank you for staying with us. First up, Dominica will join other member states of the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court, ECSC, on Tuesday, 10 January, to mark the commencement of the new lawyer in 2023. Nathaniel Duran has details. The new law year will open with its traditional ceremonial opening proceedings under the theme, the ECSC, Navigating the Changing Times. The Acting Director of Public Prosecutions, Ms. Sherma Dalrymple, will address the sitting as Dominica's representative. Chief Justice, Her Ladyship Dame Janice M. Pereira, will deliver the feature address, appearing live from the court in Anguilla, along with the other speakers from Anguilla, while the speakers from the other eight member states and the territories will appear remotely. This year, the host territory is Anguilla, where the first scheduled sitting for the Court of Appeal for 2023 will take place. The ceremonial opening will commence with a church service in each member state and territory, followed by the procession to the High Court where the formal special sitting of the court will be held. In Dominica, the church service will be held at the Truth and Grace Fellowship Global on Independence Street, Toroso, commencing at 8 a.m. This will be followed by the procession to the High Court of Justice on the Dame Mary Eugenia Charles Boulevard, where the inspection of the Guard of Honor will be conducted, followed by the special sitting at 10 a.m. The public is encouraged to participate in the ceremonial opening of the law year 2023 by either attending the church service or by watching and listening to the special sitting on various media platforms. Nathaniel Durant, Kyrie TV News. In more top stories, the National Drug Abuse Prevention Unit observes its annual Drug Awareness Month campaign. Here is Linda Martin with more. January is often viewed as a time for new beginnings and renewal or creation for personal commitments. Therefore, the unit hopes to influence the population to make positive and healthy decisions. Director of the National Drug Abuse Prevention Unit, Martha Jarvis, says throughout the month, the unit will participate in several walkthroughs in communities around the island to engage with individuals and spread awareness on the dangers of substance abuse. We have chosen one particular month, um, the beginning of the year, where persons usually associate their activities with renewal, making commitments of, for change, and it's an ideal time to reach out to persons to influence their decisions in making positive, healthy decisions that would uh, speak to reducing substance abuse, knowing that it's just before the carnival season and persons usually indulge in a little more alcohol or cigarette or marijuana use around that time. And it would be very important that we disseminate relevant information to the public in order to make healthy decisions decisions. This month we have extended our community visits so we are having a number of walkthroughs and for the rest of the month we'll be going through a number of communities where we'll be meeting persons one-on-one -on, -one on the street and uh, disseminating information. Later this month, the unit will also engage the Seventh-day Adventist Church to launch an addiction recovery program which will run from Monday, January 30th to Wednesday, February 1st. We also will be attending a church service at the St. Joseph Seventh-day Adventist Church. And uh, 
on the 7th of January and the service begins at 9.15. Now we'll be celebrating with the church, not that we are having anything in particular, but we we love to invite, you know, the Spirit of God in our, our activities and uh, we'll be taking the opportunity to encourage our church members to become advocates for change in substance use. We'll also be working with the Seventh-day Adventist Church in a program called uh, Addiction Recovery Program. And it's a three-day program, and we'll be giving you more information um, as to how this activity will be taking place. And that will be from the 30th of January to the 1st of February. Other activities for the month include health fairs, media campaigns, and gas station campaigns. Linda Martin for Kyrie TV News. In other developments, the Dominica Association of Persons with Disabilities, DAPD, plans to renew its efforts in strengthening its activism in 2023. This forms part of the 2020-2024 Sustainable and Development Program, which carries the theme Pursuing Access, Social Inclusion and Equal Opportunities Through Increased Advocacy. This year holds special significance for the DAPD as it celebrates its 40th anniversary of existence. In its New Year's message, the association noted, open quote, For the year ahead and years to come, we will also be positioning and equipping ourselves to take advantage of the many opportunities that will be created, and we have no doubt that the resources needed will be acquired as more social partners come on board, end quote. With the support of its many stakeholders, the DAPD also hopes to continue its activism to find joint solutions in building a more sustainable and resilient world for all and for generations to come. You're watching Kairi TV News. Stay tuned for more after the break. Are you looking for that perfect setup for your conference, seminar, or company function? Or maybe you need a low-budget setup for your party, dinner, or private gathering. How about that professional production for your grand concert, festival, or outdoor event? Kyrie Sounds is here to provide you with everything you need. PA system, stage, lighting, microphones, tents, LED digital screens, generators, projectors, crowd barriers, and more. We also offer free event consultation to ensure the success of your special event. Call us today at 612-4050. Kyrie Sounds, your partner in sound, stage and lighting services. Welcome back. The Champagne Reef Divers emerged champions of the Dream 11 Nature Isle T10 tournament on Saturday. Champagne Reef Divers earned the championship by 35 runs over the defending champions, the Barano Ote Warriors. Captain of the Divers and man of the match, Alec Athanas, said this is a satisfying moment for the Divers coming from last place in last year's tournament, taking the championship this year. It was a good game. Um, as we see, the guys and them, they only keep improving. And, and that's what we ask of them in the start of the tournament. I'm just happy that they did it all to the end. Um, well, all through the tournament, we have been doing, doing well as a um, batting unit and as a good pair on top. So I think it was it was very good batting with him. Um, we both understood, understood our role. And I think we just decided to bat as deep as possible. And as long as we do that, we will get a good total. It's very satisfying, um, as I told the boys. I think they would feel it more than me because I wasn't there last edition. But it's very satisfying um, coming from last and actually winning the tournament. Well, I think the management staff, um, they have been doing most of the work behind the scene. And I think we don't really see it because we are the ones playing the cricket on the field. So I think a lot of credit goes to them for keeping the boys motivated and, and keeping them calm in order to perform. And Dominican youth have been challenged to grab on two opportunities made available to them. One of Dominica's top dancehall artists, Colton, Colton T. Thomas, has called on young persons to utilize every opportunity given to them to achieve their dreams. Using his life as an example, Thomas explained that growing up and achieving his dreams were not smooth sailing. However, he persevered and is now a musician and young businessman. His comments came as he delivered the feature address at the Duke of Edinburgh AGM on Saturday. Every great dream, it starts with just one small step. Whether it's practicing an instrument, 
volunteering at non-profit organizations, or getting involved in community outreach programs. These activities all give you the chance to improve on different skills and abilities. This not only helps you feel more confident and fulfilled, but it can also open up new career opportunities in the future. Because if you ask me, when I started, I couldn't sing. For me, I couldn't sing. But I applied myself over the years, and I was able to sculpt my craft and be what I am today. Um, taking the time to join a club, learn a skill, or participate in extracurricular programs like the Duke of Edinburgh program is just as important as academic success. If I can leave you here with any message today, I want to encourage you all to find passion and pursue it. Efforts are underway to revive the Duke of Edinburgh Award program, which was first introduced to Dominica in 1968. You're watching Cairo TV News. Stay tuned for a recap of the headlines right after this. Are you looking for that perfect setup for your conference, seminar, or company function? Or maybe you need a low-budget setup for your party, dinner, or private gathering. How about that professional production for your grand concert, festival, or outdoor event? Kyrie Sounds is here to provide you with everything you need. PA system, stage, lighting, microphones, tents, LED digital screens, generators, projectors, crowd barriers, and more. We also offer free event consultation to ensure the success of your special event. Call us today at 612-4050. Kyrie Sounds, your partner in sound, stage and lighting services. To end the news, the headlines again. The Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court new lawyer opens on Tuesday. A series of activities scheduled for Drug Abuse Prevention Month this month. And Champagne Reef Divers emerge victorious from the Nature Isle T10 tournament. Tune in to 107.9, 93.1, 91.1, and 88.7 to catch our radio newscast at 6.30 a.m., 1 p.m., and 5.30 p.m. Monday to Friday. Tune in to Flow Channel 953 at 8 p.m. Monday to Friday to watch our TV newscast with repeats at 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. Like us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Kyrie FM. Check us out on Instagram at Kyrie FM and follow us on Twitter at Kyrie FM Dominica. On behalf of the entire production team, I am Donella Rivera. Thank you for watching.